welcome to PE Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct angle 78 3 quarter. So that means you're going to be having angle 78 3 over 4 degrees. And we are going to be doing it by means of construction. That means we are not going to be needing our protractor for this. So the only time you might need to bring in your protractor is probably when you want to confirm your answer. Exactly. So and in doing this, I'm going to be showing you uh, two methods, two approach to go about this. However, the first thing you need to know in all of, the, all of this is you have need to have the basic knowledge of how to construct the basic angles like angle 30, angle 45, angle 90. In addition, you should know how to divide them, you know, that's the bisect them. If you bisect angle 30, you are going to be getting 15. If you divide 15, you are going to be getting um, 7 and the half. If you divide 7 and the half, you are going to be getting 3, 3 over 4. And if you divide 45 also, you are going to be getting 22 and the half. You divide 90 you're going to get 45 you know so once you have this knowledge of this then you can be able to get all of some angles in this in this form so now like i said i'm going to be showing you two approach now in the first method that i'm going to be putting you through we are going to be looking at that this method one we are going to be looking at it like this the calculation is 60 degrees plus 15 degrees plus three three quarter degrees so these are the angles that we are going to use to get 78 uh, three over four so now let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do is to draw my straight line okay so if you are new to this channel pa academy please kindly subscribe consider clicking on that subscribe button to subscribe to our channel all right so now I've drawn a line, I'll just bring in my compass and then draw a semicircle on this line. So if you look at the sample I showed you on the screen, like showing on the side of the screen, you see that all the lines are paint lines, you know, they are construction lines, you can hardly see them exactly. But in this video, I'll make everything visible so that you can see it for the purpose of, um, of this video. However, when you are drawing your own, make sure they are very, very um they are not very bold rather exactly so now i've drawn it and then let's take the center um point o so let me where this semicircle is touching my straight line let me call this point a and let me call this point b so like i said the first thing i want to do is angle 60. so in getting angle 60 um with the same length that i used to draw the semicircle i'll bring in the compass again and draw an arc from point b you know it's just the same method of drawing a, a an equilateral triangle exactly so from points um, b so where it is touching it i'll draw a line so let me call this point point c let me call it point c so where that arc is touching the semicircle i'll call it point c so i'll just draw a line So we already have our 60 exactly so now it's for us to see how we can get the 15 and then the three quarter and for us to do that we need to get angle 90 exactly so for us to get angle 90 you bring in your compass at any convenient length so from point b i'm going to draw an arc and then from point a i'm also going to draw an arc so from the point of intersection of those two arcs i'll draw a line to point o I'll draw a line to point O. So let me call this point where this line is touching the um, semicircle. Let's call it point D. So with that, now we can say our angle DOB is 90 degrees. Then our angle COB is 60 degrees. And then we can say our angle DOC is 30 degrees. So now what we want to do now is this angle DOC, DOC, we want to bisect it into two. Don't forget this DOC is 30, so we're going to be having 15, 15. So I bring back my compass. I'll place it on point C. I'll draw an arc. So with the same length that I used from point C, I'll bring it to point D. I'll draw an arc. So from the point of intersection, so when you are taking your point of intersection, you have to be very careful. Make sure you place it at the center of the intersection, especially when the intersection is, 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 um, is, is quite long. That is very close. So you can see it 
like this so we already have 15 here and 15 here so with that now we've gotten 60 we've gotten 15 the next thing for us now is to get this three three quarter and that three three quarter we are going to be getting it from this angle so let me note that angle this point here so let me call that point point we've already used d so let me call it point e so that means our angle d o e is 15 degrees 15 degrees and it's also same with angle eoc they are both are 15 degrees now this 15 degrees that we are having here in this angle d o e this d o e here we are going to divide it twice because that means we are going to be having 15 divided by 2 will give us 7 and a half and if you divide this angle 7 and a half again to give us 3 3 quarters so that's what we want to do now for us to achieve this 3 3 quarter so it's a very small angle so you have to be careful when you are doing this exactly it's a very small angle so I'll bring in my compass on point E now I'll draw an arc with the same length I'll come to point D I'll draw another arc exactly so from the point of intersection here, which is uh, which is right here, so I'll draw a line to point O. Is that clear? All right. So that means we are having this angle. So let me also take note of this line that I've just drawn, where it is touching the semicircle. So let me call it. Let's call it point F. Let's call it point F. So. That means we are having angle F F O E to be seven and a half degrees. Now this angle F O E is what we are going to bisect again. You can see this angle here. I hope you can see it. This angle here. Let's see. So this angle here, F O E, we are going to bisect it again. So to give us three three quarter. So you bring in your compass. So it's a very small angle. I always like to use a very long length when the angle is very small. So you draw an arc from point E, and then with the same length you come to point F. You draw another arc. So you see that their point of intersection is not is can be very difficult to locate, but you have to be very careful. You make sure the point of intersection is kind of like white, but you look at it from the one that is more on, at the center respect to the angle that you are looking at so which is uh, somewhere here so from that point you are going to draw a line to point O and this line is a line that would give us the three three quarter degrees that will give us that 78 three quarter so so this line should be made bold then you can you know by all if you, earlier we should have made this one also a very um, a construction line thin line so you get it so now this is the angle 78 three quarter so i'm still going to explain it again in case if you are not getting it now since we have a lot of lines in here so this is still the first method i'm still going to be showing you another method which probably might be a little easier it depends on you so now this is our angle 78 three quarter degrees exactly so this is it don't forget this is our 60 degrees from here to here is a 15 and why from here to here is a 3 um, 3 over 4 so let's I can't put it let's just call it uh, point G you know in between F and E so that means our angle G O E G O E is 3 3 over 4 and what that will now give us 78 3 over 4 degrees exactly and like I said every other thing here should be faint lines just this line and this line should be made bold so that is one way to go about it. Now let me show you another approach to go about this. Now if you look at this angle that we are having here, angle 78, 3 over 4, is the same thing as um, 78, 3 over 4 degrees. Because sometimes that is how you might be giving in case you are giving, you might be giving like this. It's the same thing as having 78.75 degrees. Is that clear? Now if you should multiply this by 2, you are going to be getting 157.5 that will be 157.5 degrees so this is some of the calculations that we, you will do for you to know the kind of method or the kind of approach that you will use in getting constructions like this exactly not only when you are dealing with 78 3 over 4 but with every other angles exactly 
So now we've gotten 157.5. What can you do next? You can look at, okay, is it closer to 90 or is it closer to 180? If you look at it, it's closer to 180. So you look at it like, okay, 180 degrees minus 157.5 degrees. And what would that give us? So that's 180 minus, um, so that will give us 22.5 degrees. And then, so you look at it that, okay, so that means if I should have angle, a straight line, I should have 180, I should find a way to take away, take out 22.5 degrees and have the remaining one to be, what, 157.5. So if I have the remaining one to be 157.5, if I can bisect it, that means divide it into two, that means I will have my, what, 78, 3 over 4. Exactly. So these are some of the analysis that you can do that will guide you on the approach or the method on how to get angles like this. Exactly. Now, another place you might be having issues is how do I get this 22.5, which is 22 and you have. But don't forget, 22.5 is also same as 45 degrees divided by 2. And what does that mean? That means you are going to construct angle 45 degrees and divide it by 2 to get 22 and the half. If that is not still clear, let's do the practical. So this is going to be the method 2. So this is method 1. So let's do the method 2. So in summary of all what I've been saying here is this. is We are going to be getting, find a way to get 157.5. And then we are going to divide the angle by 2, which would give us 78, 3 over 4 degrees. Oh, we are not saying that. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a way to get 157.5 degree. We divide it by 2, and that will give us 78, 3 over 4. All right, so let's, let's get into the real work. Um, So now I'm going to draw my line. Uh, I hope you can still see this here. So I'm going to get my compass and then uh, I'll draw a semicircle. So the, this semicircle makes the work much more easier. Once you draw it once, you're going to be using it in uh, to get every other thing. It's, it makes the work much more easier. So that's why I always have it. When I'm doing this construction of angles like this, I always make sure I have my semicircle on my um, it makes the work much more easier. So I pick the point of intersection where it is touching my line, and then I'll let's say this is point O, this is A, and this is going to be B. Exactly. So, like I said, what we want to do now is to find a way to get um, the first thing you have to do now is to get 45 degrees. And once we divide the 45 degrees by 2, it will give us that um, uh, that 22 and a half, and then the remaining one will be 157.5. So for, before you can get 45, we have to go get 90, exactly. So you bring in your compass. So if you have been following or if you have watched other videos on how to construct on angles, because um, I've done all videos on other angles like um, 52 and they have, uh, 97 and they have, 37 and they have, you know, 48, 3 quarter and the likes. So you can check the playlist for that. So now let's, let me draw this line now. So this is just this is 90 now, exactly. So this is angle 90. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to note this point where this line is touching the angle, exactly. So let's note it. And um, so now that we've gotten our 90 degrees, so let me call this point point C. So let me just put it somewhere here, point C. So the next thing is for us to bisect. So let me just note it. That's that means we are having angle AOC to be 90 degrees. So now let's bisect this AOC so that we can get 45. So you do you bring in your compass at from point C, you draw an arc. With the same length, you come to point A, you draw another arc. Now from the point of intersection, which is right here, so which is right here, you're going to draw this line. Exactly. So we've been able to divide this into 45 degrees each. So now let me note this point here. So let's call it point, uh, point D. Exactly. So that means we are having angle AOD is also the same thing as angle DOC, which is equal to 45 degrees. So 
Now, next thing is for us to bisect this um, angle 45 degrees. Exactly. So, this angle AOG, we're going to bisect it so that we can have 22 and the half, which is 22.5. So, you bring in your compass again, place your compass on point D. You draw an arc with the same length which you want to have on point D. You come to point C, you draw another arc. So, from the point of intersection of this axe, so like I said, you know, you have to be careful of when you are picking the center, make sure you pick this, um, the, the center properly. So, so we already have, um, this is 22 and the other is 22. So that means we already have um, angle, um, so let me call those points, point E. So that means that all right, so now that we've gotten our EOB to be 157.5, so the next thing is to bisect it, and bisecting that will give us our 78 points, um, 78, 3 over 4 degrees. So let's do that. So you bring in your compass at any convenient length. So from point B, so you're going to draw, draw an arc. Okay, so from point B you draw an arc, and then from point E you also draw an arc with the same length. So you take note of the point of intersection which is right here. So once the angle is very wide, locating the point of intersection is not always difficult. So from the point of intersection, you are going to draw a line to point O. And this line that we've just drawn is a uh, 78 three quarter degrees so this is um 78 three over four degrees exactly so let me just note this where it is touching it where the line is touching the semicircle so let me call that place um point um we stop at e point f so that means you can see our angle fob is um 78 3 over 4 3 over 4 4 degrees so you can see whichever method you want to use maybe the method one or method two it will still give you the same result so you can bring in your protractor to confirm so if you put in your protractor you'll be getting something very close to 79 exactly so as you can see, you'll be having a value that is very, very close to or maybe almost on 79, um, on 79, exactly. So, so that's it. So you don't really need your protractor. Without your protractor, you can get these angles. And that's why the question, questions like this will tell you to construct. So if you find value in it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, kindly click on that subscribe button. And if you have any question, please let me know in the comment section below. And um, I also have videos on other angles, on other angles like um, 97 and the half, 52 and the half, and 3, 3 quarters and the likes. Just check the playlist on this um, on technical drawing and then you'll find them there. So that is it for this video. I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.